What's happening, people? What are you saying, people? What's happening? Yeah, cheers, bro. Come on, For a few more people to come in. Just sorry, just catching up on some burn up on meals that's just posted on Instagram. Joel Moore shot and giving shots to Connor. Crazy. Crazy. So people getting excited now. BKFC London round the corner. Nearly brought me that early with excitement. Anyone who's watching this now, who's gone? Have you got your tickets yet? Because if you haven't got your tickets, you're going to massively regret it once they're all done. Michael Venom Page versus Mike Perry, Connor Tierney versus Joel Moore, Mick Terrell versus Sam Shoemaker. We've got Paige Van Zandt on the show. Lords, Tyler Good John, James Lilly. Yeah, I'm on now, bro. show the other night was a good show i haven't um well i enjoyed the show when i was there the bfba was a good event from what i've seen of it really enjoyed it some good fights all of them seemed like fairly match fights some right good puggers damon Andrews and uh, matthew Watson's uh, stole the night life what a fight main card well title fight if anyone hasn't seen it, the full fight's on my YouTube. Give it a watch. Unbelievable. Sorry, someone's trying to get on, but it's not, the link's not learning. Reminds me, baby, if you... Like the kid at Christmas, mate, nearly breaking your neck on the bed. Ha <laughs> ha, looks like there's going to be a few good scraps, like... I'm gonna to have to try to get a link for it the same night as the Joshua fight in it. Yeah, but um and I hope you're all right, Cookie lad. Long time no speak, my mate. And um yeah, the Joshua fight's on early though, isn't it? I think it's in Saudi Arabia, so it should be on around about three, four o'clock, apparently. Should come, Cookie. Got tickets there, mate. There's quite a couple of lads going from Borough. Never got like how can you miss this event if you've got the free time and you can afford the money for the ticket and that? Get yourself there, man. Main card, Michael Venom Page versus Mike Perry, bare knuckle, mate. Bare knuckle. Mm. It's just a curiosity curiosity of what it's gonna be like. Do you know what I mean? Then all the undercard like Connor Taney, Mick Terrell, James Lilly, Tyler Goodjohn, 
Jamie Cox. There's loads, man. Loads of good fights on. Cut these coming. Don't go off line, mate. Don't go off line. I know you're still there, mate. <laughs> imagine the atmosphere though like i was at one the other like saturday just not saturday just gonna can't remember when was it the 30th the 30th it was and it was unbelievable the atmosphere was unreal i can't even imagine what it's going to be like at this at wembley all these stars fighting as well unbelievable <laughs> There's also like um, buses and stuff get, getting put on. So if you can't like stay over and you need to come back, there's buses, I think, uh, the coaches, people are putting on. It's like, I can't really remember. What you reckon on Danny Christie's first BKB fight? Do you mean the one he's had or the one he's having? Fraggles. Do you mean his big BKFC debut? Or do you mean the fight he had? last year fly me to the moon brother what's happening my mate can you hear me can't hear you bro hello can people hear me hello one he's having in August. Try sign um out and back in, fly me to the moon because it's um it's not working, brother. I can't hear your mic. The one he's having in August. To be honest, mate, I think he's gonna I think he's just gonna absolutely smash it, mate. I think he's gonna take this bare knuckle game by a storm, to be honest. Look at the shape he's in, mate. He's in tremendous shape, focus, training. He's a dangerous man, like he says. I Yo. Unbelievable. You all right, brother? Yes, man. You can hear me now, yeah? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Yes. How are you doing, man, mate? I haven't seen you for ages, you know. I know, mate. I've been so busy, mate. I've been off YouTube for a couple of weeks and I went on holiday. And, um, yeah, mate, I'm just back at it now. But well, I'm all good, mate. I hope you're all blessed too. Yeah, man, I watched all, I've been watching all them fights that you've been putting out. Is that how you wanted to do it? Like, just put a fight a night out, was it? For yourself, yeah? What, were you not allowed to stream, were you not allowed to stream that, you know, from the 30th? Say so you've yeah. been putting a fight a day out, haven't you? No, what, what it was, mate, I'll, I'll explain that. Um, I didn't know that I was allowed, because there was other cameramen in that there. I didn't know that I was allowed to like fully record the fights. Otherwise, I'd have set my cameras up properly and recorded it properly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Then, they had no problem with me uh, posting the fights. But um, another thing why it took so long is that I've got uh, I had this new type of memory card, and in my camera, it wasn't like it didn't read it properly. So when I was putting the memory card into my laptop and that, yeah. it was you know, I had to like compress them or do something with them. To change the format and it took ages, oh, mate. I'd have been lost there, me, mate. I'd have I'd been well loads, loads of footage, mate. Of, uh, so was that you? Was that you holding the camera then, ringside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice one, mate. So were, were you part of the were you part of the production? Like, did you have anything to do with it, or did you just get ringside seats? No, um, obviously, I know um, Andrew Bakewell and that who owns it. Well, who, who runs the show? And another good friend of mine, um, Mozzie from Bloodsport, sorted it out. Like, just got past to go everywhere in the show, changing rooms and that. So, big shout out to them. Really appreciate it. And then, um, yeah, mate, I was just there on my own, basically, with a camera, just doing everything off my own back. But I also cornered a couple of fighters and then um, recorded it from the corner and that. So, it's cushy, bro. Yeah, I could hear you. I could hear you. I bet your other hand was like fist pumping and all that one. I could hear you in the background, like shouting, oh, I'm so good. Yeah. I, I get too emotionally involved in it, man. But obviously, um, it was nothing against Lewis Dayton, where uh, Tony fought. Like, mm. Lewis Dayton's a lovely lad. Do you know what I mean? 
I've spoken with a few arms, nothing against Miles, just like I'm close to Tony, do you know what I mean? He's, he's like oh, a friend. Yeah, well, I... And I was just I was just rooting on for him, mate. And obviously you get emotionally involved in it, don't you? When yeah. Mad. Well, you know what it was, Fuse? You know that interview the live, was it last night where you had a few with her, you had that smudge on? Yeah, yeah, that was last night. That last night, because I was in the comments and I was asking, you know, because I was saying there's that much respect between them, proper men, in there. Yeah, mate. It's and then I asked the question whether there was actually any proper beef between any of the big fighters, you know, proper beef, where they yeah. hate each other are. Is there any of that? Yeah, there will, I suppose there is with some fights. There's some fights, the fighters obviously hate each other. But, um, man, they're, they're just, even if they hate each other, like, 90% of the time. Professionals and professional. They shake hands and they've settled it, you know what I mean? But yeah, there, there will be, mate. There'll be bad beef. That's what it's got to be like. And remember that fight with uh, that Welsh bloke, what we were talking about last time I was on, where he totally disrespected that lad who ran rings around him. He, Tony jo Sean George, was it? Sean George, and who was he fa fighting? It was that champion who was unbeaten. He's like a bit bit like Naz when he's in the ring, flitting about oh, like uh, Naz. Dan Chapman. Yeah, that was it. Remember at the end where he totally disrespected him, didn't he? But I think he I think he apologised later for it. Yeah, I think they had a bit of a bit of history with each other, didn't they? They didn't really like each other them who and they're like from the same men's and Wales, so it was like I'm wanting to be the boy from Wales. Yeah, Dan yeah. Um, Indian spice. <laughs> Is he having any more fights in? Has he had any fights since then? That Dan Chapman, has he had any more fights since then? Because I haven't seen it. He won the um he won a what the BKB belt, didn't he? And then that that was it, mate. Um he was training over Marbella, I think, or Spain somewhere. He's got a gym out there, I know he does a lot of training. But he's already so does he not uh, does he was he not be on this scene what's coming over here now then? Would he as a world as a champion, was he not invited on this? The he one might, on the twenty seven. He might he might have been there, but it's, it's if he wants to do it, you know what I mean? He might have better um he might have might have better opportunities doing what he's doing, training and that. Yeah. Have you ever interviewed him like you? Oh, Dan Chapman. Yeah. I've never interviewed him, no, but I've spoken to him a few times. Yeah, it'd be a good one to get on him, like I like him. Well champion poser. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's good though, he can back it up, can't he? He ran rings around that short George, man. It was bad to bad to watch. Yeah, he just got he went, it was a mad fight, mate, to be honest. Yeah, it was like Dan, Dan Chapman though, he's a he's a well skilled uh, school boxer, isn't he? He would box yeah. on GB in the amateurs and that I remember watching him years ago in the amateurs, Dan Chapman. But I think he had a bad uh, uh, fell off a bike or something and damaged his broke his legs or something and um he couldn't couldn't obviously yeah. run with his um, career. And uh, yeah, he, he was basically running around the ring the full fight, like, to be honest. Yeah, it was just winding him up, wasn't he? Yeah, that's why I think Sean George was getting a bit um, pissed off of him. Didn't he bite him on the head or something? I think he did, yeah, yeah. He did, aye. And then he wouldn't shake his hand at the end or anything. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, so that one the other night. Talking about Sean George, he's, um, I've seen a post recently that he's had his had a bit of bad news of um, a detached ret retina or something like that with his eye. So oh, yeah. just letting him know that we're thinking of him, man, and they hope everything gets sorted with him, with what he's wanting. Oh, yeah, man. I tell you what, he's one hard fucking man, him, like. Yeah, he's a beast, mate, Sean George. He's a legend. Yeah, he's, um, so that, was, you know, yeah. that, he'd that one you were... Retina. He'd have been a mimpro, uh, Dan Chapman. Yeah. So that do you were at the other night, uh, Fuse, uh, on the 30th. Was that was that held in, like, how big was that place? Was it like a leisure centre or was it bigger than that? Was it? It was, it was a big place, mate, to be honest. Like, it was a big, big uh, hall. It was like a big um, ice rink type thing. Right, yeah. So this one that Danny Christie's fighting on, this is going to be like a different, different thing altogether, isn't it? Like, that's oh, for atmosphere yeah. and stuff. Mate, this is at Wembley, man. Like, fucking... I don't yeah, think yeah. people aren't getting this into the red. How big this show's going to be. No, yeah. I don't think they are, you know. Mate, it's mental. Even, even like, without the main card, like um, MVP and Perry, like, just look look at it without that. And still, yeah. 
an amazing card that would be worth going to without even having them on. And it's, got it's like, so where, where, where's the main advertising for it coming from? Because you don't, you're not going to see it on the TV, I don't think. Are you like advertising on there? Have the, are they hammering it over the internet anywhere? Apparently, mate, um, I'm sure, yeah, it's on the 20th of August, um, Wembley over, over Arena. Is that that's yeah. how you pronounce it, I think? So, anyone who wants the tickets, get in touch and we'll sort them out. What were you saying there, mate? I've just said, did, did you see uh, Dan Christie's video he did the other night? Which one? one? was called He's a Dangerous Man. I think it was titled it. He fucking is, mate. That's why. I know. Oh, yeah, he's scary <laughs> now, isn't he? Yeah, it's in a shape, is him, mate? Yeah, man. It's like he's got a... It's like he's nothing can beat him, you know what I mean? He's going in the ring like that, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. He's, I can't wait to see it, mate. I can't wait to see him in the BKFC. Like, it's going to be unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mm. Does he know when he's fighting yet? Like what number fight he is or anything? I don't know the uh, f the f nobody knows. I don't think the line about times yet, but they roughly yeah. know where they are in the card. I think I don't really know the release at all. That's what I was going to say when you said it's not going to be really televised. And I think this might not be true, but uh, apparently Michael Venom Page was talking about it the other day on Sky Sports. Yeah, oh, yeah. It'll definitely, it'll definitely be televised on Summit. It's definitely televised on the um, BKFC app. So if nobody's got the BKFC app, if you're not going to the fight because you can't make it, like, don't know why you can't make it unless, like, it's money situation or something. Mm -hmm. I'm not the BKFC app and you can watch it on there. Who's this? So are you just going purely as a spectator I this time or have you got anything to do? Are you doing anything else there? Yeah, I'm gonna be doing the same thing, mate. Like interviews and stuff like that. Oh, nice one. Can't you know, all I can compare it with views. I'm trying to compare it with something. But did you see the UFC last week at um, was it at Wembley where Paddy Paddy the Baddy was fighting? Yeah, I seen I seen bits of it. To be honest, mate, like I'm not just saying this, but I used to always watch like. IFL TV every single day, mate. Whenever I had a bit of time, I used to watch IFL TV, bits on the MMA, like um, the Mac Life and stuff like that, MMA news. Mate, all I try and watch now is bare knuckle. Like, they don't really interest me that much. Like, yeah. seriously, they don't. I like watching the highlights of the fights and that, but I used to watch, like, you know, the final detail to, like, the, every interview they've done and stuff like that. But I, honestly, I haven't watched IFL TV in ages. And stuff yeah. like that. It's mad. You all right, Kyle, lad? Yeah. Not... No, not too. Oh, has he gone already? Yeah. <laughs> he had his debut, didn't he, Kyle? He won, didn't he? No, he um, fell short, mate. And again, oh, but did he? He done, he done, had a min performance, mate. He done well. Oh, nice one. I remember seeing, uh, watching him bit on the build up to it, like on your channel a few weeks before. But, uh, yeah. Did you enjoy it then, Carl? Yeah, I think you did, didn't you? Yeah, I enjoyed it, man. I can't, I can't wait to get back in there, man. Yeah, so it hasn't put you off or anything, no? no it's a different buzz, man. It's to totally different buzz. Yeah, man. Got to remember as well, yeah. he had, a, he had a, um experienced kid as well on his debut there, mm -hmm. in Jamie Andrew. He's a good fighter, isn't he, Kyle? Yeah. Come out a lot quicker than I was expecting, even though I thought he was going to come out quicker. Fucking nah, too much, man. <laughs> it's, you know, what I've, what I've seen on the night, a lot of people, a lot of the fighters were getting, like, when they're against the ropes, they were falling against the ropes, and then that's where half of the fights were ending, weren't they? Yeah. Ropes weren't that tight. They could have been a bit tighter, I reckon. It, as soon as you touch the ropes, you just sunk into them. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> my head. Until you've been in that ring, it's hard to imagine what it's like. I've never stood in a boxing ring, you know, or bounced off the back of them ropes, but... Yeah. How big was the ring, How big was the ring on the night, Kyle? It, it weren't that big, I don't think. I think probably about 16 foot, I think, 18 foot. Yeah. I enjoyed it, mate. I thought it was a wicked night. I really yeah, it was a good one. night, you know. <laughs> Wish could have stayed a bit longer. Wish the driver didn't want to get home, like, but I understand he just drove two and a half, well, three hours up there to drive three hours back as well for me. 
So, Carl, after, after your fight, mate, was there many more fights? Did you go back in the crowd or did you just get yourself away? I watched a couple more. I watched Tony's and I think uh, George Forbes. Yeah. And then I think I headed off after that because my driver was like, come on, bro, we're getting late. My time to get home it could be 12 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, man. George Forbes, fight, uh, full fights on my channel as well, if you haven't seen it. Good fight. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll check that out. I'm trying to get up a date with them all. I want to get into it. No, not not myself. I don't want to fight or anything. I just want to get into it and learn, up, learn about all the boxes and that, you know. Yeah, yeah, I remember when you why don't um you and your missus go to BKFC Wembley fly me to the moon? Well that's what we were we we were looking at it, but uh it's just a little bit too soon. Like I'll probably go to the next one though, Fuse, definitely. Um Yeah, I well, I'd I'd love to go to one of the shows, any anything so would uh, the wife, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, man. Are you are you going, Kyle? Well I've I've, I've... I'm going to see what money's like. Obviously, we're going down doing Tony's Corner on the 19th. 3D Fight Club, yeah, it's the day before, isn't it? And then getting down to London. The train strikes on the 20th as well, isn't it? So, Is it? Yeah, yeah. On the 20th? Yeah, I'm sure someone said the 20th of August, their train strikes start again. Oh, Typical. You're not going by train, I feel. No, I'll be driving on there probably. But the bonus thing is, I'm working right there at Wembley. Get up there. All right. All right. <laughs> Have you spent much time in the borough recently then, or what? Not recently, mate. No, a couple of days here and there. Yeah, earning, earning the big peas, aren't you, mate? I wish, mate. In one hand, out the other. <laughs> You're like a way for now, mate. Really I've got two weeks holiday at the minute, mate. I'm absolutely buzzing. <laughs> Both week, and Donna and Danny Christie are going to smash Wembley. Definitely are, mate. 100% they are. Yeah. Do you reckon you'll be speaking to Danny before his fight then any time? Will you get an interview with him or anything? Say that again. Will you be able to get an interview with him before his fight, like in the next week or two, do you reckon? I may hope how busy they are, in it. Don't really like that messaging people for the interviews all the time because... Obviously, they're in training camp and that, aren't they? and I don't want to seem too pushy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Danny will do an interview for us. I tell you what, uh, Carl. I think you were on last night, weren't you? On the panel when uh, Smudge was on, he wasn't happy. Yeah, in yeah. like, was he? He was not oh, happy. Him. Yeah. Nah. You know, did something happen? What happened about his last fight? Did it? Did something happen? I didn't get the full story. I think it's a bit of like dirty tactics for it now. And fucking the other guy's ass fell out basically. I think. Of... Yes, oh, so he dropped. He lost his. He didn't get the fight because the other fella pulled out. And... No, nah, they got the fight. They're just like finger poking and that in oh, there. He was. Right. Oh, get you, get you. Fucking hell. So I was just, I was just saying a few was about the amount of respect that there is between all the fighters. Like for big butch blokes, there's just so much respect. And yeah, I asked him if there was any proper beef between the fighters. So I've never seen that smudger fight like on the night. It was. F Did you watch it, Kyle? No, I left just before the smudger. Imagine he was literally grab, gr grabbing smudger's head, literally in his hands like that, in his eyes. Oh. It proper down to cover his eyes. Wasn't the ref onto it? Like, wasn't the ref onto it? Like, yeah, yeah it was onto it, but it can take like fucking what? Three, four, five seconds for the referee to break it up. Do you know what I mean? And it had long enough, isn't it, man? Yeah. Mad. Yeah, well, surely, though, that, that other guy will get a bad uh, reputation, won't he, for the next fight? If he, they're going to look at that, aren't they? You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Danny's in the house. Yes, Mr. Christie, you've got this brother, calm with. Oh, you always have to smash it. No problem. So Danny's, Danny works as well, doesn't he? So he'll be like putting his training on a morning and that morning and after work and stuff. Yeah, I think um, he trains from six o'clock in the morning, I think. He's even been training on his dinner breaks and that. I've seen running upstairs and that, running up steps and that. He's proper on it. Yeah, yeah. But I think the difference is in his mind, isn't it? He's just a different bloke in his mind now these days. Yeah, 100%. Definitely. 
Danny and Barry Jones will be a hell of a fight. As in Barry Jones, oh no, he's having, I was going to say he's retired, but he's having his rematch, isn't he? Playing Serena again, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. Uh, September. Is it September or October? In the Premier League, isn't he, Danny? He's in the BKFC. Barry Jones um, fights for the BKB, doesn't he? Yeah. But it would be Barry Jones is a sick fighter, though. Yeah, good fight. Good, like, he was a good glove boxer as well, really, to be fair. Pro, good pro. So, out of all them, all them fights the other night, Jules, was there any surprises for yourself? Any shocks? Is the what? Was there any shocks in them fights from the other night? Uh, for, you, for you? Like who we thought would win and got beat or whatever? Uh, not really, mate. No, no. I'm trying to think, mate. My head was all over on the night, fucking here and there, everywhere. What was that like, Kyle? <laughs> you are the fucking man, burn it here, there, everywhere. But um, no, um, all not really, mate. No, not no shop shoppers, really. Yeah, you'll have to do some predictions and uh, get some predictions off people before the fights, and then have a look at them afterwards. Yeah, see I'm who gonna, knows. I'm see who gonna... knows what they're on about. I'll get some like uh, predictions off people and put yeah, them off. Yeah, no, I'll, yeah, uh, the chat, man. I'll um, have to start watching them now. I'll have to catch up with them all, mate. <coughs> Barry Jones too small for me, and to be fair, he's a much more refined fighter. He is. He's a good fighter. Um, Barry Jones. What weight is Barry Jones? I know. Yeah, he's only small. I'm sure he's only welterweight, isn't he? Is this the guy no. who daddy's fighting, is it? No, but it's just someone who put in the comments about Barry Jones, but I think Barry Jones is well welterweight. I think Christie's light, light everywhere, I think. So what's next for you, Carl? Uh, I heard somebody say something about that bad to the bone. Was that you, mate? Who was fighting on that bad to the bone? Okay, and after the yeah, swing, fighting on bad to the bone, twenty second of October. How, how many Stoke. shows? Are, how many shows are they putting on here now? Because I've seen a few of their shows. Done their done their fighting the bay hills or? Nah, that's a spot and that do the hay bales. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that bad to the bone, it's not a bad little production that I've watched a few of them. Yeah, all right, little show, isn't it? It's in Stoke, isn't it? Fenton Manor, so. Yeah. Mate, BKFC. BKFC Wembley, mate. 20th of <laughs> August. Get your tickets now. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> he's not going to sleep till the 20th of August, him, like, no way. Can't wait, man. <laughs> Fly like, round now, isn't it? The what? Soon fucking coming round now, isn't it? I think the last week and that is when the most tic tickets will go. I think it's nearly sold out anyway. Eddie Gain in the house. <laughs> that'll be amazing. If, if it sells out, that'll be amazing. That, like, if it sells out. Oh, I think it'll definitely sell out 100 million percent. <laughs> yes, Eddie Heard, how we do, brother? Conatini and Danny Christie are going to do the business. John yeah, Hicks Connell and Brum. Connor putting no more to sleep. Definitely, mate. I think all the boys, mate, are going to have an absolute mad performance, mate. Mate, like, it's just the lineups off it, isn't it? Like, the lineup mate, is... Just fucking on me, oh, man. If you can pick a dream team of bare knuckle fighters, mate. Do you know what I mean? Mad. Yes, Eddie, lad. Yeah, it's going to be off the Richter. <coughs> You'll have to so, download the um, app though. Fly me to the moon if you're not thinking. I know, yeah. Yeah. Have you got Have you got much planned like online for the next couple of weeks? Are you going to be on much or no? Yeah, hopefully, mate. It's, I work away, don't I? So it depends yeah. on what I'm in because some of the Wi-Fi is absolutely terrible. 
you know what I mean? So I might plan it to get to this hotel and it's Wi Fi is brutal. Okay. No, yeah, I'll just I'll just keep an eye out for you, mate. But I will I will have a look and try and download the uh, what are they do? What's that? Wait, uh, by the way, <laughs> Barry Jones eats cereal with a fork to save milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the... We've got Venice the Menace in the house. Big up Venice, lad. By the way, here, boys, I've got all you in the comments. See the links there, man. Look at the top of the chat, all getting the link. Are we Venna, Danny, Connor? Come on. Go on, Venice, lad. Come on. So I haven't spoken to Venice for ages, man. <laughs> cereal with a fork to save milk. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> MVP, it's like a train. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny then. Do it. What's wrong for it, mate? Hope you're all right, Paul, mate. Yeah, man. Second that one. Comments full of gangsters. <laughs> hey, boys, I'm going to scoot off, right? But, uh, Nice talking to you, right? You, Carl, and Jules, mate. I, I will keep an eye out for you. Yeah, spot on, brother. Don't forget to download that BKFC app, bro. That's the one, yeah. I'll get on that, definitely, mate. All right, man, mate. I'll speak right. soon. Mate. See you later, lad. See you, Carl. See you, chap, mate. See you later, mate. Yeah, mate. Right. Good morning. Action. Action. I'm in the bath touching myself. He's got his little chatty all the Making little white tadpoles in the bath. <laughs> See if you got any swimmers in the bath. Yes, yeah. Man. You all right, mate? How's it going, bro? What on, mate? Are you? Not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Good, good, good. What's been happening? Fuck all, mate. Just been chilling and training and... Not been doing much on social media, mate. Just been chilling out, mate. Yeah, good. Been going on the sunbeds. Looking brown there, mate. Nah, mate. It's probably just muck. It's all bang around, Did you watch the, uh, any of the fights from the... Did you watch Darren's fight, Benna? I caught up in it, yeah. Well, I was meant, I was meant to corner Darren. I was meant to corner Darren, wasn't I? Yeah, he said Asked me to go man. down and corner him, lab. I was meant to go down and corner him, but... I had a little fucking uh, fell off the wagon dinner, as every fucking knows. So I, it wasn't the fact that I knew I'd go down there and fucking. I just didn't want to put myself in that environment mm. after the the rough time that I had. I'd put myself through. So I just thought, you know what? Like Darren, if if I was going to call someone, like I'm going to be calling Danny. I think he does. He deserves my full divided attention. Do you know what I mean? Like, or he deserves. I but he. I'm going to be cornering someone. They need, they need, even though I'm not fighting, but it's, I still want to be 100%. And I, I was, I was barely 20%. My mental yeah. state was fucked. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, yeah. I was, I was battling my own inner demons, mate. But, you know, I'm looking forward to cornering Danny. You know, Danny's going to get 100% of me backing him in that corner. And, you know, can't fucking wait. Can't wait. It's going to be mint like, isn't it, mate? Yeah. 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 I'm looking, watch, I'm looking forward, mate. I'm just looking forward to the, to, to the UK lads bringing it home. Do you know what I mean? Michael Venom Page. Michael, I met Michael Venom Page a long time ago before he was a big star. He probably won't remember me. I was down in, down in, down that way, fucking training and sparring and stuff like that. But obviously, I was only the early stage of, of my fucking career, and mate, no one even knew him at the time. But he was fucking, he's a fucking, he's an animal, like. Who do you think will have? Do you think he'll uh, beat Mike Perry then? I don't think Mike Perry will lay a fucking hand on him. I don't think he'll touch him. Yeah, he's too elusive. He's it's, listen. This is how I always look at it. Yeah, like. Obviously, I don't want boxers to take my opinion on body or what I'm about to say, but it's only hands. When you're mixed martial artist, or you you would you, you fought Muay Thai or kickboxing, and you've got knees, hands, elbows, spinning back fists. When it comes to just them, you always just think that's easy night like, work. Do you know what I mean? Because you only have to worry about their hands. You don't need to worry about leg kicks or elbows or knees or you know anything like that. It's just hands. So I, I think Michael Venom Page is going to have a fucking easy night. I really do. Well, he's, he's also fought as like a professional boxer and that as well, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do. I think he, I don't. I don't think he's the best boxer in the world. 
But I just think he's fucking hard to hit. And I yeah. don't I don't think many men will fucking lay a hand on him, if I'm being honest. He's dead you know, range, I, well, isn't he? dead like, like Yeah, that. it's fucking yeah, his movement's is fucking unbelievable. It's you know, I think he's not he's not your your typical boxer. Like, how do you prepare for someone like Michael Venom Page where he moves about? I mean, look, uh, Con- Connor, it, it, his movement's fucking unbelievable, but it's your typical elusive boxer, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't say typical. I mean, he, I do believe he's something special. To be fair, when I watched him fight and stuff like that, I think again, as a boxer, he's hard to lay a glove on. You don't know it's very rare someone puts an hand on him, and I think he's going to do the same again. Do you know what I mean? Where yeah. Michael Venom Page is just. How do you prepare for someone like that? Who, who are you going to get in to prepare no you for Michael Venom Page? Like, no one fights like Michael Venom Page. No, like, it, you, you, it's hard work trying to get someone to emulate his fighting style. Like, how you like who, who are you going to get? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, it's, it's his own fighting style, the way he fights. Do you know what I mean? Connor was sparring him the other day in London and he said, I uh, think, I think, I'd love to know how that went like. He said it, he said it, what? he was last like. What? I'm looking to me fucking. My friend and brother Danny fucking taking over the BKFC, let me tell you. He's yeah. going to make some waves. But I can see, see with Danny, I think every fight's going to be a barn burner because he wears that on the sleeve. He's not, yeah. he's going to get, he's going to get it. But my God, he's going to fucking hit you back. That's and he's going to start. I just think he's going to put some people to kick me. I see, I really do. Yeah, I think he's going to like fucking cause waves like. A million percent. Really- Really see him, mate, fighting for the BKFC belt like fucking late this year or fucking next year, something, mate. That'd guaranteed, really... guaranteed. And with me in his corner, you fucking bring it home. Woohoo! <laughs> <Well, like, laughs> what's he fighting at? Um, he's fighting like heavyweight, isn't he? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's eight your kilos, something. I think he's fighting at what's like heavyweight these days. Is it 90 k? Is it 90 below 90 k or something like that? What what was it? Right. Fighting as Danny? Are you still in the? How do I see the chat here? Uh, go I on. can't see. It. I can't see it. Is what it is. I'll put them all. You on know what? I, I wasn't planning on coming back on YouTube for a long for a while, mate. But I just thought, fuck it. I support the butter boys, isn't it? You know how it is, Hog. No. Nice one, brother. Appreciate no it. Problem. No problem. Yeah. No he's problem. Yeah, there he is. There he is. See what uh, weight is fine. I'm trying to think who will be the uh, camp at his weight. You see that kid? You see that kid who, uh, what's his name again? You were supporting. What's his name again? I think he won a title that night, same as Darren. Uh, is it Liam? Liam uh, Wilson. That's it. I've never seen King. him before. Is he fighting that street That street stuff. Yeah, he's unbeaten. Uh, the one who does where he hits him and then kicks him as he goes down. Mint that. So I went viral. That. So I seen, obviously, I seen him, you supporting him, seen him on yours. And then someone else tagged him. I seen him and I thought I'd check him out. And then I looked and I thought, oh, fucking hell, I knew I'd recognize him because that went viral, didn't it? All over TikTok, Instagram, everywhere, didn't it? He went all over of- on a fight as well. I've interviewed him. If you watch the podcast, the first time he went over uh, King of the Streets. He fucking his missus Matilda who also fights was pregnant, mate. He just went over just him and there, like to this fucking place where you don't find out you're fighting with all these hooligans till the next day fighting on fucking concrete floors and that. Just turned up, mate, and fucking had a pago with his missus. Mate, mate, they, don't, mate. They, don't, they don't make them like that, do they? See people like that, mate, fucking just go. Mate, you want to know something, right? Uh, I went, and, I went and fought in Western Superman for the English title. Didn't have a clue who I was. My last was pregnant. It was just me and Aaron, two cornermen, mate. Fought at the end of the pier. Oh, it was wild. Wild. <laughs> but that, I thought that was wild. You know, the full fucking the full fucking venue was flinging pints at me, swilling me on the way to the ring. Oh, they were going mental. But that is a whole new level, isn't it? Fucking turn, turning up like that with a load of... Because they're fucking mental, aren't they, them guys? Mm-hmm. doing that. Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking agree with it. Like with some things that, like with the concrete floors, and I just think it's too fucking dangerous, man. Well, it is dangerous, but it, at the end of the day, if it gets sanctioned, it gets sanctioned. I bet you won't find a man who's died doing it. It's, it's illegal, isn't it? Is it illegal? Yeah, yeah, that's why you can't fight. They tell you the con- the ta- the city that you fight. Saying in. that every cunt's masked up in that, aren't they? <laughs> I bet they pay a decent lowy though. I bet they pay a decent lowy. They fucking tell you the city you're fighting in, mate. And then the morning of the fight, they're like, right, here's the postcode. Come here. 
Like fucking, you don't even mad, mate. I don't. You don't get paid yeah, if you don't... lose as well. I don't think. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. But if you, I think if you win, you get you get a few G's. I'd imagine a couple of grand. It probably makes the, the massive on YouTube and the land. Yeah, a Rubik's cube. <laughs> okay, you can never do a Rubik's cube. Never done one in my life. <laughs> You're figuring that out, are you? <laughs> no chance. Okay, now. Well, listen, uh, thanks that's for all the problems. I'm just, I'll keep it short and sweet, bro. Yeah, no worries, mate. I really appreciate you coming on, mate. It's good to see you back. No, anytime, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be back on over the next few weeks, mate. I'm just going to keep focused on recovery, mate. Keep coming back, man. I want to be invincible like my brother Danny Christie. You know, at this moment in time, the way he is on YouTube and the way he's flying, you know, he's the only channel I watch, apart from yours and the other lads, but for, for, for my... For my own sanity, I know I can wake up in the morning, go to Danny's YouTube, watch watch his channels, the things he talks about, and you know the guy's invincible, and I strive to be like that on here. Do you know what I mean? Because you know I, I let myself down by buying into other people's bullshit and accusations of me, and you know, and I lost the plot around it because I really was very close to jumping in the car and putting some fucking someone in my boot. Do you know what I mean? And I thought, wow, what am I doing? I meant to be a changed person, meant to be in recovery, I meant to be a a God fearing man, do you know what I mean? Why am I letting these guys get to me? So it sent me away for a bit, it pulled me away from it because I because I knew I felt my peace was stolen every day. But I've got to remember why I why I was doing it because you know, for every fucking thousand people that watch my video, I always got one message saying, Like I'm in recovery, I'm going to an A or I, I, you know, I want to change because of that video. And I think that's why I did it. That's why I started YouTube, not to talk about fighting or how hard I was or how hard he is, or I want to fight him or do that. But I started to to sway towards that, I want to get amongst the fucking chew and the and 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 the and the bullshit. You know, I just thought, you know what, I, I, I this is not what I'm on here for. So I had to step away from it. And now I know for a fair fact when I come back on YouTube and I'm able to carry my message, I'm going to be invincible doing it. You know, because yeah. I couldn't give a shit what's going to be get said, who's going to poke fun, who's going to comment, who's going to dislike, who's going to like. You know, it's not that's not what I'm why I'm on here. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Yeah, I will be back. And cheese for Amazon. Zonog. You take care, brother. Take no, care, brother. Your time will speak hey, soon. All right, boys. God bless. Hey, Ta -da. Bye -bye. Yeah. Oh. Good lad, Light heavy. Thought it was. Who's light everywhere? Champ in the BKFC. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Oh, Danny. Easy leg, Danny. Why? Morning, Danny. Imagine that man, Danny Christie versus Lorenzo Hunt in in Wembley. Oof, mental. Fell out. Turn guy that poked on King of the Street head but his opponent three times on BKB, Mr. Eric Olsen. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to shoot, brother. My battery's on low, man. Yeah, no problem, Kyle. Take care, brother. I'll give, you, man. give us a message, mate, and um, when you're sorted and that. Yeah, man, I'll be home in a bit, so I'll give you a Brilliant. message. Yeah, I'll see you. Well, see you again the fucking nineteenth and twentieth, probably. So, oh, mate, yeah. I've got a busy, busy week that week. Manchester the nineteenth, London the twentieth, Poland the twenty-first. I'm all over the shop. Fucking hell, busy boy, man. Well, I'll let you get going, Kyle. Sound busy, kids. Yeah, Give us a ring when you're See you yeah, later. Well See you later. Ta Catch you later. Man. Bye, mate. I wanted Sam and the Savage. I wanted Sam and the Savage for my debut, but he's not over until November. Sam and the Savage. The king of the streets guy, that, innit? Oh, that'll be another good fight. I think Danny takes it all day long, like... Danny Christie call out that Tony Giles. I think Tony Giles is a different word, isn't he? Venice, you've got more support than haters. We've got your back. You're one of the real ones on the internet and you'll help a lot of people. If you're watching that, Venna. Bye, your Venna. Yeah, I don't. I think um, who was Tony Giles meant to be fighting? Oh no, he is. 
I think he is. He might be. Hmm. I think they are the same weight. If I remember rightly. Big up Mozzie from Bloodsport as well each and every time. Absolute boyo. He's got the year team. Then got inducted into the Hall of Fame. What the fuck? The next day, BKB gave the Blood Axe a rematch. Don't agree with the get butts and all that life. If you when you're fouling and that, it's a sign of you're losing in it, basically. I've never seen um Tony Giles fight bare knuckle. I don't know what Dan Chapman's doing. Um I don't know, I think he's training out in Spain. People, I'm going to get off. I really appreciate everybody who's coming. Don't forget, BKFC, 20th of August, Wembley Arena. Tickets out now. Pay-per-view links out now. Don't forget to watch it. Appreciate everyone in the comments. I'll be back on tomorrow night. Much love, everyone. There we go. Eddie M, respect. Danny, Connor, everyone else who's in the comments. Venna, Kyle Goodwin. Fly me to the moon, respect. Good night, God bless everyone.